boobs. I've always loved my boobs. When I was younger, I was always small. I never had any breasts. I was always jealous of other women that had breasts. I just wasn't aware that I had big boobs until this one boy in the eighth grade said, you're nipped out. And that was the first time that I even realized that my boobs were a part of the world. <laughs> It's tough for young women today to understand what does beautiful really mean. We are bombarded with Victoria's Secret models and the airbrushing because our bodies aren't perfect. I think that we have a responsibility to younger women to show them that you need to exude power. So I made it a point to hold women up, to promote the strong female so that we were all in it together. I love this. I've had a love-hate relationship with my breasts. I think that is like the truest it's so statement true. ever. All things in two breasts, life and love, and we'll leave that to your own imagination. <laughs> Okay, that's good. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say these are longer than what my normal boobs are. <laughs> Women tend to not want to take care of their breasts. They don't think about their breasts as something they need to care for. Much less, you know, making time to go to a, a doctor's appointment or go to get a mammogram. I had 12 people over my hospital bed praying over me, and I never felt so much love for my whole life. There's been lots of gifts that have come out of it for me because I look at life every day matters so much more than it ever did before. I've learned over the past few years that I need to do more self-care, respect your body, respect your boobs. Women need to realize they have to take care of themselves before they can take care of anyone else. I mean, I say these are the only girls you're gonna have your entire life, so take care of them.